Trash Tave, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with I finally tried Germany's weirdest food by our guy now. I'm intrigued to see what Germany's weirdest food is. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. If you subscribe to any of it, follow all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Q man, I talk back. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Oh my god! I am dreading making this video. Somebody try this in another German video. Uh-uh. 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 Mm-mm. 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 No raw foods. That's my, that's my, that's my, probably my number one rule is no raw foods. I can't do it. I, I cannot do it. Now, we gonna watch it. Ah. So before I came to Germany, I did not have a very high opinion of German food. In the States, it just doesn't have the same reputation as cuisines from countries like Italy or Greece. When I thought of German food, images of schnitzel, bratwurst, sauerkraut, and pretzels came to mind, and it just didn't compare to my romanticized image of Italian pizza. But upon moving here, I learned that German food is actually super underrated. And there's a bunch of different cuisines throughout all different regions of Germany. Each area has their own specialty foods. For example, in the region- I, I saw a couple plates that, that definitely look like they'd be great. Uh, get, I, 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 you know once the video gets your mouth watering, it's, it's some good food on the screen. Different regions of Germany. Each area has their own specialty foods. For example, in the region that I live here in Schwäbisch Hall, specialty foods include Spätzle and Maultaschen, both of which look disgusting, but are actually really, really good. Now, before I came to Germany, I would describe myself as an insanely picky eater, like insanely picky. I didn't even eat a piece of sushi until last year when I was 29 nah, nah, years nah, old. Nah, nah. But since living- Yeah, yeah, and me neither now. I, I, I want the number one rule, no raw foods. Cook sushi? I, I, I'll try it. Raw sushi? Nope. Can't do it. A piece of sushi until last year when I was 29 years old. But since living in Germany, my food horizons have broadened. I've been willing to try new things. But there's still one type of German food that I have avoided for all these years. Uh. Metbrotchen. <laughs> Now, when you Google weirdest German foods, Metbrötchen is always at the top of the list. And I can see why. It looks disgusting. Now, it's actually a bit more popular in Northern Germany, but I do see it around Schwäbisch Hall from time to time, and I've done a good job of avoiding it. So Metbrötchen is a bread roll with raw pork mince no. spread on no. top of it. And it's no. often topped off with some raw onions. And this is a breakfast food. This is how you start your day. No. No. There's some things that no. just make me queasy and nauseous just thinking yeah. about, and Met is one of those things. I, 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 I'm with you now. I think about eating that. I, I, I hate onions with a passion. And then the raw meat. Uh, I... They say don't knock it till you try it, but that's just some... Um, that would, I can't try. I can't do I can't do it. I cannot do it. Queasy and nauseous just thinking about, and met is one of those things. But guys, what do we know about life? It's that we always need to face our fears. And so today, uh -huh. I am going to be trying Germany's weirdest food, Metbrötchen. I'm praying for you now. I'm praying. <sighs> All right, guys. And yes, I am wearing the same shirt as the other day, okay? I'm just really excited about all the football stuff. So, I haven't changed my shirt. I like that jacket. Let's go to the store to buy the stuff. Here we go. No, no, 
Nick, man, what are you doing? You know you don't have to do this. I know, I know. I know I don't have to. Then then why are you doing it? Yes, I'm just, why? I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of no. curious. What does it taste like? Listen to the voice in your head. No, no, no. You don't, why are you doing it? You don't have to do this. Don't do it, no. Curious. I'm kind of curious. What does it taste like? All right, I need a bread roll, an onion, and some met. I'm definitely in the wrong aisle for that. Hello. Haben Sie Fleisch für Mettbrötchen? Mett hier im SB? Ja. Und Brötchen im Wasser. Okay. All right. That was the strangest uh, collection of items I've ever purchased. Let's go turn this into a meal. I am painfully, painfully anxious to eat this. We're going to start off with something easy. I'm just going to cut the onion. Okay, I can do that. I'm going to cut the onion. Okay, onions are done, that's fine. I eat onions quite often. Fresh bridge in now. We're gonna cut this poppy in half. So far, so good. And now, the mat. This is raw pork. My heart is thumping right now. I'm incredibly nervous to eat this. We're gonna do it. Here we are, met brochen. I uh, lit some candles, sort of set the mood. Oh my gosh. Got some water to rinse my mouth out. Oh man, this just does not, I don't see how this is gonna be that appealing, guys. No, I don't know. No, you don't have to do it. You don't gotta do it now. You, you, can, you can stop now, you can back out. You, you don't have to do this. You don't. You don't. I don't want you to do it now. Oh man, this just does not. I don't see how this is gonna be that appealing, guys. I don't know. I'm trying hard to be open-minded. All right, we're gonna put some met. <laughs> my heart is thumping out of my I chest. I bet, I right. bet it is. Oh my gosh, a little bit of met, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna spread it. I'm gonna spread it kind of thin. I don't want it to be yeah, you know, too, too much. And just part of me thinks like, you know, maybe it's not so bad. Why would they be eating it? But also no. part of me thinks maybe Germans, you know, care more about functionality than, you know, pleasure and convenience. And you know, hey, this is functional. It's got carbohydrates, it's got proteins. It's a functional <laughs> meal. Okay, we're getting some onions on it. Okay, okay. <laughs> you see, I'm shaking. I'm not an adventurous eater, guys, I'm not. Okay, there we are, guys. Met Brötchen, my first ever bite. I'm gonna do it, hold on, here we go. Okay. I now that was a lot of chews. That, that, that was a lot of chewing for that bite. Okay, I ate it. I ate a bite, guys. Oh, okay. Oh. What's my initial reaction? My initial reaction was I was incredibly fearful going into that bite. The initial taste was overwhelmingly onion, which I am actually kind of a fan of onions, so it wasn't so bad. Mm. And actually the, the initial taste was fine. Like it was fine. But I think mentally, I couldn't really get past the fact that I'm eating raw pork right now. <laughs> and even right now, it feels a little bit, I feel a little bit queasy for that. But like the on the surface level taste was fine. 
if I didn't know what that was, I feel like I could eat that every once in a while. I'm really struggling with the mental aspect of it, the that's raw pork that. aspect of it. And that. so that's sort of where I'm at right now. I feel that was like get an adrenaline. Get you another bite. Now, get you another bite. <laughs> I was just playing. Don't, don't take no more bites. You, you show the aspect you show of it. And tried. so that's sort of where I'm that's at right now. I feel that was like an adrenaline rush for me. I'm really I'm not an adventurous eater, guys. I. I just felt like I was going into a football game right there. That's how anxious and, and nervous I got. Yeah, so the taste is, it's the taste isn't isn't so bad to me. It's it's I would say it's fine. And maybe some people might even like that. Uh, the texture kind of got me. That's where we're at, guys. I would yeah. say better than it looks and sounds like it will be. Pretty strange still, probably not my favorite way to start the day with a breakfast, but who knows, maybe it'll grow on me. Certain foods have certainly grown on me. Maybe I'll give this a try in the future again at you know um, some restaurant that actually serves it and does it really well, because this is my Nalf's homemade version, which you know, I wouldn't say I'm an expert in making Metbrötchen. Not my favorite thing, but certainly better than I thought it would be but I thought it would be pretty low, so it's just kind of slightly up here. I did it, I'm proud of myself. I ate a bite of Metbrochen. We did it, guys. Whew. I think that ambulance is for me because they know I have to go to the hospital now because that was pretty, that was pretty tough. Uh, I guess this- that was, that was tough to watch. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I should be more open-minded, but I just can't be. I can't, guys. I can't. I can't. I can't be open-minded about raw meat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, guys. The special announcement is that I was approached to be part of this promotional campaign for Baden-Württemberg, the state in Germany that I live in. The campaign is called The Land. That's how they're branding the state, and it's basically just focusing all the cool aspects of this unique place in Germany. And I actually got to be a part of this mockumentary series where I do a little bit of acting. I act as myself. Uh, and the series just came out today on YouTube. You could check it out with the link in the description. Check it out for free. And uh, you can also follow the campaign right here on Instagram. I, I think it's really cool. I'm so honored that they asked me to be a part of it. Uh, and it's a, a great thing to promote because I really love this state and uh, it's become a second home to me. And so I'm, I'm proud to be promoting it. So uh, check it out with the link in the description, the link. And in the coming weeks, I'll be doing a full reaction video to one of the episodes, which I'm really excited about. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. That's really dope. I'll rock with that. Uh, I'll rock with now's videos. Dude's just awesome. That's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop them in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon are all up top. If you want to subscribe to any of it? Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy Dinia. Out.